Welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will show the adjustment possibilities of the MPSC position sensor from SIC using the SOPA software. The sensor is connected to the USB port of the PC using the C-Link 2 master. When starting SOPAs, the device is recognized automatically. Double-click the icon to access the device. The tree structure on the left side offers five tabs. We will have a closer look at the tab Parameter as well as Diagnosis and I.O. Link Process Data. The tab Parameter allows doing the main sensor settings, which are pin configurations, setting the measuring range and setting teach points. The first option the tab offers is doing the pin 2 configuration. Just as with the touchpad adjustment, the sensor output can be configured as current or voltage output. Just select the desired function within the drop-down menu. The checkbox Data Storage Lock is ticked if the device settings shall not be overwritten by the connected master. The local user interface lock is a key lock function and simply blocks the capacitive touchpad of the sensor. The interface offers four so-called binary data channels (BDCs) that can store up to four switching characteristics. As an example, BDC3 is adjusted. For the adjustment, go to the tab Parameter and select the Teach In channel BDC3. Each teach in command will now be related to BDC3. Each BDC offers the information on the current set points as well as the BDC configuration. In this example, the two point mode is selected. Use the drop down menu to select three, two point mode. The logic will stay on zero, not inverted, and also the hysteresis is not changed. Move the piston to the position one and click on the SP single value teach button to set the first threshold. Then move the piston to the second position and press the SP2 single value teach button to set the second threshold. The two thresholds are set now. To see the set values, click the Read from Device button and the two set values are displayed in the BDC3 section. The values can also be set manually. For doing so, just click in the set point 1 field of the respective BDC and enter for example 200. The same applies for set point 2. Enter the value 300 in this example. The behavior of the output can be monitored by clicking on I.O. Link process data and then observing the values of BDC3. As soon as the position is above 300, the value changes to true. It stays true until it falls below 200. The LED on the sensor represent BDC1, so no change for BDC3 is visible. To set the measuring range according to the needs of the application, move the piston into the start position of the measuring range and click the Teach Measuring Range button. Then move the piston to the end of the measuring range and click the Teach Measuring Range End button. Clicking on the Read from Device button will show the adjusted range in the Measuring Range section. Of course, the range can also be typed in manually. The yellow status LED will only be on if the piston's magnet is in the range of the set measuring range. The Diagnosis tab offers the possibility to activate and deactivate notifications. If notifications are disabled, no sensor failure information will be transmitted. The Find Me function makes the sensor blink in order to locate the sensor much easier in the machine. The position displayed is the actual position of the piston in relation to the beginning of the sensor housing on the plug side. To read the current value, the Read from Device button needs to be clicked. The Position qualifier allows showing whether the magnet is in range or not. The I.O. Link Process Data tab shows the current position of the piston in relation to the beginning of the sensor housing on the plug side. The value displayed is the distance in 50 micron, which is the accuracy of the sensor. In order to get the value in millimeter, it needs to be multiplied with 0.05. A teach in of the range has no influence on the values as it is the raw data of the sensor. This tab also shows the current status of the BDCs, so if a switching output is active or not. If you would like to know more about the adjustment possibilities via the teach button, please click on this tutorial. We hope you liked this tutorial and see you next time.